up, boys? What up, what up? Today's topic is going to be she left for a reason, dog. Because I need a lot of guys to ask y'all selves why she actually left you. I need a lot of guys to be introspective, to actually ask the question to yourself, am I doing the best that I could do as a man? Am I being the option that is undeniable to her and any other woman that chooses to come in my life and want to share my energy, my time, and my attention, bro? Hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share the video. Y'all know that's the most important thing. Man, let's get straight to it. Because the reality is she probably left you for a reason. She probably left you because you know you ain't that guy. She, Because when you that guy, right, three things don't happen. One, they don't cheat on you. When you that guy, women don't cheat on you. I'm not trying to hear what anybody else says, bro. She not going to cheat on you. That woman could have cheated on three, four, five more dudes in her lifetime who she been with. But when you're that guy and her attraction level is at a certain point for you, she is not going. you are not going to get the same energy from that woman. If she has a super high attraction level for you, then someone else will get from that woman or another guy would get from that woman. So it's so important to show up as the kind of man that won't take that shit, honestly, but who whose presence demand that kind of respect, bro. The second thing that won't happen is she ain't breaking up with you. She ain't breaking up with you. Reason why is because women do not leave men that they are chasing. Women do not leave men that they are in love with. Women do not leave men who they perceive to have higher value than themselves. And women do not leave guys who she feels like has the potential to be great. I know y'all have seen some of these women in some of these situations where she's staying, but she's like, oh, well, if he just changes one thing, he would be the perfect partner. Or if he just does this, if he just, if, 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 bro, if. It's because she sees the potential in that man to be a great man. And she perceives his value to at some point be higher than hers. You got to keep in mind, women not stupid, bro. They're actually very smart creatures. They understand sometimes you got to get in on the ground floor. Sometimes you got to get in when the man is building and, and do your thing from there. It just depends on what her SMV is. Is she a 10 by society standards? She a 10 by society standards then. I'm sorry to tell you, my dog, you ain't never going to find no woman who trying to get in on the ground floor. She a 10 by society standards because she could just go get a baller. She could just go get a man who already know what's going on, bro. But if she a 10 by your standards and maybe a 7, 8 by society standards and she feel like you a man with potential, bro. All you got to do is show that potential. All you got to do is walk in the direction of that potential. All you got to do is grow as a man and show that growth, bro. A woman to stay around long after she's supposed to for a guy she feels like is improving, who doing it right in the, you know, sack. She'll stay long after she's supposed to. So if she leaving you, if she is, it's because you are slacking or just straight up failing at doing those things. And you have to look at yourself honestly. Man, am I am I making the kind of income I'm capable of making? Or am I even trying to do more? Am I taking care of home the way that I'm supposed to? Do I make this woman feel comfortable to be in her feminine nature? Because I know we talk a lot about women who not giving you what you want and how to handle that. But we got to talk about you, buddy. We got to talk about you. You actually got to be somebody worth demanding that. Ain't nobody going to come treat you like no celebrity when you make fan money. Ain't nobody going to come treat you like no celebrity when you when you got fan activity going on, bro. Oh, we got to split every bill at a restaurant. We got to, bro, that's not it. I'm sorry to say. I mean, if you if you don't believe in that, if you ain't, you ain't messing with me on that, I mean, go to another channel. But I'm going to tell you the reality. Ain't a woman sticking around for no man. And I wouldn't let a woman pay at a restaurant anyway. Here's why. Because when you pay, you got power, right? Over like over the interaction. When you pay at a restaurant, you got power. You get to pick the restaurant. You get to blah, 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 whatever. I don't let women do that. Come cook for me, baby. Like go grocery shop. 
cook for me. That's the equivalent exchange of you paying when y'all go out on dates at restaurants. Come cook for me once a week, baby. Like, come do this. Come clean for me. Come, come do this thing, this, this task that requires your investment and your energy for me. Right? And that's what you want. You want an investment from her. But the reality is she's not going to invest in you if she ain't, she don't feel that attraction towards you. If she ain't chasing you, bro. Which leads me to my last point, bro. Investment. Women have to invest in you. If she not invested in you, she probably going to leave you. Women don't leave men that they're heavily invested in unless the, the cons severely outweigh the pros. They got to severely outweigh the pros, bro. So she already left you. Then you got to start looking at those cons, my boy. And you got to be honest with yourself. How can I correct these? How can I get better? Because here's the reality. Most women going to come back. I say 65. It's like 65, 35, right? 65% of women going to come back. They going to give you at least a chance to get back in the door, bro. Meaning they're going to reach out again or something going to pop up. You know what I mean? And it's just you. It's to your discernment. It's you to make the decision on whether you're going to take that woman back, given everything that happened in between. Now, she could have went and got in a whole nother relationship with a whole nother dude. Two years down the line, that failed. And then six months after that, she like, oh, well, you made me feel like nobody else ever made me feel. And now she coming back to you. So it's your choice to be like, do I want her after she was with that other dude? I mean, personally, yes, a hell no, but you might. And my job is not to tell you what's right and what's wrong. My job is to give you the tools, bro, and let you decide you the hero in your story, bro. You the man in your movie. So you make those decisions. Or you might have a woman who she left you and it's only been two months and she ain't seen nobody else because she just going out with her friends having brunch and trying to get over you and whatever and then she decides she want to reach out to you because she miss you and that's still your decision on whether you want to take her back in that moment but guess what if she don't have that investment in you that attachment that thing that makes her want to come back to you she's not coming back bro she left you for a reason because she can't get to that attachment because you're not doing the right things to make her attach in that way bro so as a man, you have to understand these things. You have to understand that it is how you show up, what you are going to get from a specific woman, bro. I don't think all women are the same, but I think a lot of the same principles apply to a lot of women. And that's why I teach these things to you, bro. So keep that in mind. Make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe button, man. Share the video. It's your boy, Kaden the Rick, man. I'm about to...